and welcome to Sold Spieler. My name is Niels and today we have a Kickstarter preview about Auto Farmer. Auto Farmer is a game where you take control of growing your own cannabis. So what you're doing to or what you're trying to do is grow your own little cannabis plants in your area. This is a very quick and easy to learn card game very very easy so you can take it wherever you want and almost everybody can play it right out of the box with this short video in mind what you have in the game in the kickstarter game will be the base game and also an expansion and i will cover the expansion in a minute what you are doing and i give you the full overview about the rules because they are so easy to learn easy to understand right now what you're doing is when you prepare your table you have this plus and minus 20 on the other side it's 10 here and you prepare them like this also you have your tiny little plants here all of them has a value of 40 each all of them of these weeds are the same cards then you have an action deck and a discard deck when you shuffle them they come like this together but for demo purposes i leave it as is and you have three phases in the game but more important you also have a very handy dandy player's helper card for up to four people here so the first one is the growth round then the blooming round and then the harvest round so you stack them on top and you play exactly three rounds of the game there's one more step to preparing your own garden your own harvesting garden area and this is where the dice come into play so you simply roll the dice twice so a four and a, an eleven the higher number is the number of seeds you draw from this pile here 11 let's say these are 11 and then you can plant four of them right from the get-go like this this is your whole setup then the next player will do the same he has a five and a eight so he draws eight cards and has a, a garden of five plants and so on so you can play the game with up to four players right from the get-go let's say we set up the table like this just for an example what you now do is you draw three cards that's always the first thing you do and the first player is drawing three cards i will show you the cards in a minute however you have a mulligan rule so if you want all of them please take them if you don't like any of them you can discard any number up to three of the ones you previously drawn and discard them here to get three new ones let's say i have this one and now my action phase starts and in the action phase i can play any card in the round we are currently in so we are currently in the gross round so i can play this card because it has the gross I can I cannot play this card in the harvest round here is the exact opposite I can play this card not in the growth and not in the blooming round only in the harvest phase here is the same I can play any number of cards up to the hand size I have there is no real hand size limit but technically there's a nine card hand size because you play the game three rounds let's say I would play this card this card is a burglar he allows me to steal a plant that's it this card will be discarded and comes onto the discard pile and now the next player draws his card all of this the whole summary is explained here on the back side of those rules so first of all drawing cards then card replacement which is mulligan rule then playing cards and then disease spreading what is disease spreading and this i will show you a couple of these cards here so we do have a couple of cards spray for an example fertilizer burger we already saw what he's doing mold for an example you play mold on a card this is a disease card indicated here by this skull icon so you play that on a uh, plant like this here and at the end of that player's turn that effect happens we also have mites you can play that on another card that gives an instant minus 20 on the plant itself even if you remove that 
but other than that it could spread out to other um, plants in the same area. You have a sickle where you can simply um, cut off and destroy one of your plants if for an example mold is on the plant or you can simply harvest one to gain points. You have fertilizer to speed up, you have spray to get rid of mites or even mold, you have something that's stealing cards, but wait, there is more. You also have male uh, plants and everybody who knows cannabis knows male, males are not the plants you want. So you can play them in the last phase and ruin the whole uh, gardening from a player. You have warning, the, po the police is coming and you warn someone uh, and destroy something and all of that. There are a lot of cards. I will show you the rule book for an example for just a minute to show you that each single card is described here. Unique special cards like Sunny, Storm and Raid. Um, then we have the green cards that you can play only in the last round and the other cards. So as you can see, this is a real nasty take that game. It's straight in your face. But the cool part on this game is you simply draw two cards. You can take a mulligan to get the cards you really want, then play up to three cards, next player's turn, and so on. Once that is done, you get in the next phase, then in the third phase. And at the end of the last phase, round or phase number three, you simply collect the points you have. Each plant is worth points, plus or minus here from, from plus 10, plus 20, minus 10, minus 20, and you collect all the points. Then you note down your points and that is the first game you play. You play the game multiple times after another until each player has once been the starting player. Then you sum up all the points and the winner is the winner of Auto Pharma. As you can see, I can even explain the game rules in five minutes with all things you have to know. On the cards, the text is very clear so everybody knows what to do. And if not, there is a handy rule book that explains honestly everything. It's, it's so easy to understand. It's so easy to play. And it's a really good take that game if you like these kind of small games. When I'm talking about these kinds of games, I'm referring to Munchkin, etc. So it's a take that game like Munchkin or other games in that vein. However, this one is faster and quicker. And even if you feel it sounds a little bit like too much randomness here when you roll, for an example, in a 10 and an 11, right from the get-go. And that player has 10 plants here in the gardening starting off while I have only five or even four plants. Keep in mind, when you play with three other people, these three other people will hurt you a lot. So they will shoot mold on you, mites on you, males on you, just to ruin your garden. Because usually everybody is shooting, shooting at the biggest threat like in other games in this vein too. This game is way faster, much faster, and because all the cards are self-explained, it's so easy to play and easy to have it on hand wherever you're going. On top of that, we do have a small expansion built here in this Kickstarter version, which is a Strains expansion. So it's strange, it has a couple of symbols on it, and how to play instructions just on the card. However, it's also included in the rule book. But what it does is it gives new plans. So the plans are now from 20 points up to 80 points. So and you starting off with your gardening with three extra different plants and they have some special abilities. Some are stronger, some of them are faster growing, some cannot be uh, getting um, removed earlier or all of that is in built in this strings. This one only comes into play if you really like to play it a lot. I think the base game itself offers so much already that this is just for people 
again, it's included in the Kickstarter, but this is only for people who cannot get enough from Auto Farmer. And I can definitely see a crowd of people that cannot get enough out of games like this. Because all the people who are thinking in your face game, straight in your face, this is the kind of game I like. We all usually talk about a take that game. This is a game where you really try to ruin the um, garden of your opponents with all the abilities you have in hand. And once you played it, or even on the first game, you will figure out the most power you have is in the last round. So even um, getting the sickle or the males are really powerful to play them in the last round. So it easily can happen that you are getting into round three with a really good garden, a really strong garden. And in the harvest phase, your garden will be ruined by other players. Or even if you have some awesome outstanding cards on your hand, like the fertilizer or sunny weather, etc., you can increase your garden even in the last round. And this is what Auto Farm is all about. The five, seven, ten minutes of one round and it all boils down to the last second. That's what Auto Farmer makes a great game. Thanks for watching. This is Nils and this was another paid preview for Auto Farmer. See you next time. Bye bye. And please consider backing Auto Farmer on Kickstarter right now. <laughs>